Some big moves over a city. Shanali Basak has that story. Hey, Shanali. Hey, John. We're looking at the biggest restructuring at Citigroup in about two decades because not only are they restructuring their investment banking trading units, they are restructuring the entire bank and its top management layers into five main business units that will report directly to CEO Jane Fraser. Now, in the early reactions, you are seeing a lift up in Citigroup stock. I did also just recently, right now, obtain a memo that Jane Fraser, the CEO, had sent to her own staff saying, I know many of you share my frustration that we are seriously underestimated as a bank. No one else has our global lens nor breadth of our insights and on the ground capabilities. Now, what does that mean? While they try to capture share, they are eliminating regional leadership roles. That means across the world, you may see significant job cuts among management ranks. That is according to our own sources. In her own executive management team, 19 members have been named. Now, in the investment bank itself, where she is trying to stay competitive, gain share. She named Peter Babe, the head of Asia Pacific, as the head of that business. But listen, John, that person will be stepping down, and Citigroup will be conducting a search for a new head of banking that will include that investment bank, where Tyler Dixon is leading all the team's deal makers, and Jason Riccate, who is overseeing corporate banking, which Citigroup considers to be sort of their quarterbacks, the people who are across the world building relationships with clients and bringing in business. So significant day over at Citigroup, very large restructuring. This is just the tip of the iceberg. We have understood that it would be at least until the fourth quarter when we get more targets, financial results associated with these businesses and targets in terms of what those headcounts could look like and the costs associated with them. Shanali, we've heard from a lot of management on Wall Street in the last couple of days. There's a big conference taking place this week for Wall Street banks. Are we going to hear from Jane Fraser a little bit later? That's the expectation. Currently, Mark Mason has been on the menu for that decision discussion, CFO of Citigroup, but we are understanding that Jane Fraser will make a surprise appearance and give remarks surrounding the big restructuring we're seeing over at Citigroup. Now, I will maintain she won't give financial targets unlikely to give until the fourth quarter. However, this is a significant restructuring on top of the initial set of changes she's made over at Citigroup exiting businesses around the world. Shani, thank you. The stock is positive by 0.9%. Stay close. We'll talk about this again around the opening bell, I'm sure.